All right, the effect of employing the 5E inquiry learning model on the learning of acid and alkali. Okay, uh, now uh, we, we know that, uh, first of all, there's a non-fulfillment of the 60-40 policy. And uh, we know that uh, the poor standing of Malaysia in trends in mathematics and science study, um, of which we can see uh, the very decline from 2003 down to 2011. And in 2015, that's up a bit. And 2019, the result has yet to be, uh, to be published, uh, officially published, but it will be published uh, in December this year. And also, uh, we know that uh, in Malaysian science curriculum, um, in the curricular guides and syllabuses, uh, there is a strong advocacy for inquiry learning. Uh, in fact, there is a special team on inquiry learning advocated in the syllabus across the primary science syllabuses. And also, uh, students, uh, teachers' conceptual understanding of inquiry is still nebulous. Nebulous in terms of uh, they do not know what uh, actually inquiry learning is all about. They thought it's just uh, uh, as long as you do practical work and that is inquiry learning. So therefore, there's an urgent need to provide teachers with the research-based classroom validated examples of inquiry science teaching. All right. Um, and um, so the research question is, uh, what is the effect of employing the 5E inquiry learning model on the achievement in the learning of acid and alkali among year three Malaysian students? Uh, and also the content of acid alkali was chosen as a context because uh, uh, even in secondary school, children have problems in conceptualizing the notion of acid and alkali. And as such, students at a primary, uh, primary level should be given a good grounding on the concepts of acid and alkali. All right, first of all, the 5E inquiry learning model, a very overview, a very short overview. Uh, it has a five phases, which are engagement, exploration, explanation, elaboration, and evaluation. In the engagement phase, uh, the pedagogical function is that uh, we evoke students' curiosity and draws out students' prior knowledge. And in the exploration phase, we provide students with similar or common activities, experiences, so that conceptual change could be facilitated. And in the explanation phase, uh, we actually tap on uh, the exploratory, uh, what we call the experiences gain, and they try to build their explanation. And assistance may come from class teacher, textbook, and all, and other resources. And in that phase of elaboration, they apply and extends on the concepts that they have acquired. And finally, in evaluation, we assess students' understanding and the acquired skills. Now, the methodology, we use a quasi-experimental design that uses the pre-test, post-test control group. The use of existing classes, uh, because uh, uh, why quasi-experimental? Because we do not want to disturb the, the school ecosystem. And the same teacher taught both groups. Um, a first group uh, has got 32 students, while the experimental group, 33 students. And all in all, we have 65 students. And um, And... A pretest poster consists of 34 fill in the bank items and it has uh, sufficient validity and reliability. Um, and the findings, we can see that uh, first of all, we do a pretest. Uh, the pretest here to just to see whether the two groups are equivalent or not. And we realize that it is not significant and, and we, we can safely assume that uh, both groups are actually uh, equal in terms of uh, in terms of their pre exist uh, in terms of their knowledge. And therefore their post test could also could be analyzed using using uh, a t-test, um, an independent sample t-test, and we find that uh, the experimental group achieve uh, markedly higher as compared to the control group. Um, and this this actually implies that the post-test difference was actually real and happened as a result from the intervention as not because of uh, other factors. And uh, discussion, uh, this study aimed to determine the comparative effect of employing the 5E inquiry learning model as opposed to the teacher-centered traditional method on the science achievement in learning of acid and alkali among the year three Malaysian students. And we can say that it had a positive effect on student science achievement, particularly in the mastering of basic concepts. And this positive effect is in consonant with positive outcomes deriving from the use of 5E inquiry learning model as reported by other 
uh, researchers and also uh, although they are of uh, different measures they use uh, they use different science topics and also they use different age groups and finally uh, we also highly recommend the provision of in service professional development workshops on inquiry learning because uh, many teachers do not know what inquiry learning is all about and the proposed workshop should also be simulative modeling the models it, it means that you shouldn't be teaching teachers by lecturing they should actually uh, hands on they should actually uh, simulate through the 5e inquiry so that they have the experience of what 5e actually meant for them and so this study concludes that actually 5e inquiry learning model is indeed far more effective as compared to the conventional model in enhancing primary students learning of science particularly in the learning of the concept on acid and alkali uh, thank you for this uh, presentation